This is Solva. Now, somewhere in the middle of this year, we saw a number of articles pointing to the fact that Huawei was secretly working on a master plan to take on Windows operating system as well as Mac OS by launching the very first ever PC powered by their own operating system, which is the Harmony OS PC version. Now, we were looking forward to see the launch of this OS this year, but according to updates on this matter, all clues are pointing to the likelihood of Huawei releasing the Harmony OS for PC in the coming year, which is 2025. Now, if you are to put aside this number of articles and reports, Huawei recently did something rare, which has given us the hint that this master plan of Huawei to take on Windows and Mac OS is no more a secret but something Huawei intends to make a reality. This I will be diving deeper into in today's update. By the way, kindly don't forget to subscribe so don't miss my next update on this issue. Now, since the US banned Huawei from doing business with Google, which led to Huawei developing their own mobile operating system for their smartphone business, which is the Harmony operating system. Now, another area where Huawei looked even more vulnerable to potential sanction has to do with operating systems for personal computers as Huawei still relies heavily on Windows operating system to power their PCs. Now, because of these vulnerabilities, Huawei has been preparing to develop a PC-based software so as to cut their reliance on Windows since last year. As much as these plans for Huawei remain a secret for some years, an executive of Huawei also gave us an insider information which has also given us a hint that Huawei was actually planning to make a big move on Microsoft, with the Varogo being the aim of ditching Windows support for Huawei PCs and adopt their self-developed operating system, which is the Harmony OS. Now, we even saw images of how the user interface of the PC version of the Harmony OS might be looking like on Huawei developer websites just months ago. Now, putting all this aside, we have been waiting for one final move from Huawei, which has to do with Huawei applying for a trademark for the Harmony OS PC version, which has now become a reality. Per reports, Huawei recently applied to the Intellectual Property Authority body in China, with the aim being the registration of the Harmony OS Office trademark. Now, with this new trademark, the Harmony OS brand is branching out into new territories. Huawei intends to cover everything from office supplies to website services, giving us the hint that this new trademark covers the MateBook and the Notebook products line of Huawei. This new trademark therefore points to the fact that the Harmony OS TC version is in the pipeline. For now, Windows remains the dominant operating system in China and the world at large, but this dominant will soon see the biggest competition from Huawei. Now, in China, the appeal of the Harmony OS remains extremely very high, as many people are willing to migrate from foreign operating systems into locally made operating systems. So, the success and adaptation for the Harmony OS when it comes to PCs in China wouldn't be a difficult task for Huawei, but at a global level, Huawei is set to face one of the toughest competition from Windows and Mac OS as Windows remains the go-to OS for personal computers globally. Putting this aside, Huawei has a lot of work to do, especially in the area of convincing software developers who for the past decades have been optimizing their software specifically for Windows and Mac OS, as these developers for now will have to re-engineer the source codes of their software so as to make it compatible with Harmony OS for PCs, which comes with a lot of course and time consuming as well. For now, we wait to see how things unfold with regards to the Harmony OS PC version and I will be here as I always do to keep you updated on this issue. Now, what is your take on this? Do you think Huawei is actually making the right move by working on their own operating system for personal computers? And do you think Huawei has a chance? Can you let me know your thoughts in the comment section? And if you find this content informative, kindly don't forget to subscribe so don't miss my next update. See you in the next one.